I'll show you how to create a connected app. Connected app is a framework that enables that um, an external application um, to integrate with Salesforce using APIs and standard protocols such as XML or OAuth and OpenID. Um, so you go to setup here. Quick in the quick find what uh, type apps. So you have, <clears throat> you go to App Manager. So these are the apps you have here. So upper right hand corner, you see new lighting app or new connected app. So what you are going to do is you click the new connector app. So you name it like my connect my con app email uh, you can try anything um, so email e, um, is here because <clears throat> If you want to update the changes in production or in sandbox, uh, the, it sends an authorization code. So that's why uh, it uh, plays a role here. Uh, these are optional. Image logo uh, icon info, they are optional. Description also um, optional. Uh, so these are the most important things uh, like the, this is a, besides the basic information if you want to uh, use OAuth you you have website setting start URL XAML custom connected app builder or mobile app settings or canvas, canvas app settings canvas app um, is an app where you use to uh, integrate with other systems um, so this is how you uh, create a new connected app. Uh, you can create a bare bone connected app using like, try to click save here. You created a bare, um, basic connected app. So If you click API enable OAuth settings, whole bunch of information get displayed where you put callback URLs, enable device flow checkbox. And these are scopes. Scopes are capabilities, different capabilities in layman's terms. These are uh, uh, web server flow, you know, um, they are different also uh, the flaws and uh, I don't want to go deep into this but um, you can type the callback URL and then callback URL after the authentication you go back to the call, uh, uh, that URL like uh, uh, maybe your application uh, service providers URL um, if you use Salesforce had identity provider it could. so so this is um, um, how you do that uh, set the OAuth settings uh, so I can for now I can add temp here I will add later uh, so um, let's see full access so it gives the full access um, there are different auth setting, access content, resources, content, custom permissions, so forth. You know. So I'm trying to save it. So this has um, enable auth setting. Let me call back URL to US. Uh, 
google.com that makes sense uh, so I'm going to save this it says changes can make up to 10 minutes to take this away deleting parent dog also delete all connected app with or settings enabled so uh, you have to wait uh, uh, at least like seven eight minutes or longer uh, to get activated sometimes I observe it takes longer than that you continue here So this is the created app here. You can edit and you can see, yeah. Um, earlier, it gave the error invalid callback uh, URL. I had to add. Uh, HTTPS here, let's save it. So, this is the one you created. Still says it takes 10 minutes, up to 10 minutes. You can, so it saved all the information in OAuth. The most common I experience is the OAuth for um, connected apps, but um, you got SAML, um, the other authentication methods are also being, uh, being used. 